There is a ritual to life and death. Funerals part of that. But the personal touch is definitely um, not there right now for people. The virus moving throughout the world has changed funerals to the point they're not feasible in most cases, regardless of whether the deceased succumbed to the virus, an accident, or disease. Last week, Henry Eversole passed away, leaving behind children, grandchildren, and a sister who adored him. Two days before his funeral, the emergency declaration was announced. And the mayor had said that no groups over 10 could be gathered together. And we, our immediate family is 16. Social distancing also applies to funerals and a limit on how many people can attend. Not only at a funeral home or church, but at graveside too. Bradshaw Carter is allowing for visitations of loved ones in shifts with 10 people at a time. And for those who opt for a service, live streaming's provided. It's a new technology. People aren't used to that. Um, but it does give them the opportunity to, to, to go ahead with a service right now. Another way the pandemic has changed the tradition of laying someone to rest. People understand the need at present to take precautions. The Eversole family will eventually have a memorial service when the crisis ends. But for the family, along with so many others, it complicates an already difficult time. It, it really was not something that we ever thought we'd have to deal with on top of losing him. Deborah Brickley, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.